Hey, y'all, if you remember, uh, I started shooting videos working up to Father's Day. Well, this recipe is going to complete the things that I recommended and cooked for Father's Day. You know, we had the pork chops, the sausage stuffed pork chops. We had uh, a fun new version of macaroni and cheese that kind of went to another level. It was real good. Uh, I made blueberry muffins because Michael loves them. And the blueberry muffins, I, I hope, if y'all hadn't seen these videos, I hope you'll roll back and get them because uh, the blueberry gem muffins are insane. They're so delicious. It's like the perfect blueberry muffin. And uh, so I'm going to finish up today uh, with a frozen chocolate mousse pie. Now, you know what? And it's it's hot, so I'm really into kind of cool desserts right now. Uh, but you know what? After I put this together, I may decide not to freeze it. Um, it's Lu Lulu. She's begging you, isn't she? Has she, has she had a treat today? today? Yes. I thought I saw her chewing on <laughs> one. See, Too bad, sissy. Uncle Eddie needs to start letting Aunt Teresa. Uh huh. Do yeah. All right, so this is very, very simple, y'all. I've got two cups of chocolate chips, and they're semi-sweet. Who's in there? That's Michael. Michael! He's headed to the back. He looks, like, he looks hot. He's been sitting by that pool. <laughs> it is hot outside. Okay. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to put one tablespoon of chocolate liqueur. I turn that on because I'm making this in my new set of cookware and it's cast iron and it is wonderful. But so I'd cut it on earlier because it's it's thick. It's thick cookware. Where is that spoon I like? There it is. Uh it's thick cookware. So I oh ow <laughs> Do not put your hand over an open flame. <laughs> All right, and now we're going to add three tablespoons of heavy cream. And we're going to cook this for about one minute. My nose is stopped up this morning. Do we have allergies, yes, allergy we, things we out there? Okay. So we're just going to cook this until it's smooth. And it'll take about one minute for that to happen. All right, y'all, this looks nice and smooth. Everything's melted. And now I'm going to cut off the heat. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I don't very often use this for my vanilla, but I will today. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so, you know, you, you don't want to uh, put your extracts in because the flavor can get cooked out pretty quick. So you want to put in your extracts after you've cut the eye off and it's stopped cooking or bubbling. So that's it. Now we're just going to sit this to the side and let it cool. All right. I'm continuing on with this pie. I have poured my one quart of heavy cream into my bowl along with three cups of powdered sugar. And we're going to just whip this just like we were whipping fresh cream. Okie doke, y'all. This is nice and thick. Nice and thick. And now I'm going to fold the chocolate into our sweetened whipped cream. Yum, yum. It's going to be so good. Now, if I were doing this, uh, 
just for my family. When I say family, like Michael, me, Eddie, Teresa, <laughs> the adult family members, I'd put nuts in this. But I have found that my little ones are not all that crazy about nuts. So we're just going to fold this in. And our chocolate is not all the way cold because I think it just needed just to have a little, a little warmth still left. Not too much though because it would break down our whipped cream. But it needed to be just have a little tad of warmth, warmth to it so that it can be folded in. So you can see the texture of this. Get every bit of that chocolate out of it, y'all. Don't cheat me on my chocolate. All right, I got it folded in, y'all. And Teresa said, I think you need to do the do it with a mixer. <laughs> so, I said, okay, I'll take your advice. So it, it, it wasn't going to hurt it. It wasn't going to hurt it. Does it help at all? I don't know. Maybe. You want one? I always want one. You want one, Eddie? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was always my favorite part when Mama would give Bubba and me a beater. Okay, so there it is. Wonderful, cool summer dessert. I think this would make two pies. I'm going to sprinkle a... Oh, and there's still some of the bowl for me. Yes, yeah, listen, Teresa, I said this could easily have made two pies. Because it didn't have to be piled up this high, you know? Perfect. For my man. In the freezer we go. I just want nuts on some of this. I buy nuts when they're buy one, get one free. Uh, at the grocery store. So I got lots of nuts. It's just finding... All right, now, is there anybody that would like nuts besides me? Y'all speak now forever, hold your peace, because you ain't getting mine. Nobody wants nuts but me. What the heck with y'all? <laughs> y'all are going to look at mine and say, oh, my gosh, look how wonderful that is. For those nuts, now there's my piece, and I'll cut it just like that. And it's, and it's gonna be so good. This is almost turns it into like a turtle pie, you know. And you could even drizzle a little caramel on it. Oh gosh, yes, honey, yeah. honey, yeah. harsh. So three hours, y'all. Now this one is not frozen solid, which, for my preference. I would rather eat it not quite frozen through. So here we go. Just got to remember to cut deep and get that crust out of there. Because to me, I love the crust. The crust is what makes it. And that's a tough piece of crust. I'm swallowing hard. Mm. Teresa, you wouldn't can't imagine what those nuts do to it. So good, y'all. Mm. Mm. Another thing I like about this pie, y'all. 
is you keep it in the freezer. So it's not going to go bad. And you can go in and get you a piece of about 16 days in a row. <laughs> that won't last 16 days. No, it won't. But if you live by yourself, it may. Oh. If you cut little pieces. <laughs> Hope y'all will try it because it's delicious. Love and best dishes, y'all. Yum, yum. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.